hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about how you can downgrade from ios 18 to the previous ios maybe ios 17. so ios 18 is already in a uh, betas for now while i'm shooting this video and everything is going good but maybe some of you might be facing different sort of issues maybe regarding battery life or performance and you might be upset that you have updated to the iOS 18 and you want to go back to the previous version you don't want it this so this video is for you guys so to downgrade you need a couple of things so you need definitely your iPhone you need the lightning cable that you are going to use along with that you need a PC or Mac for this purpose because you need um, to d install the uh, older iOS on your iPhone using PC or Mac. So definitely you also need to download the older iOS version on your PC or Mac. So I do have PC. So I'm going to do according to that. There are nothing different between PC or Mac. Just a one button difference. I will uh, mention that. So no need to worry if you're Mac user or a PC user, no need to worry. It is going to help you a lot. Well, before doing that, you need to do a couple of changes in your iPhone. You need to turn off find off, uh, my find off uh, feature. For example, if I go to the settings and go over here, you need to find my, you need to turn this off. And to turn this off, you need to first turn off the stolen device protection. It is It will not turn off as you can see. So what you need to do is first, go and search stolen device protection over here put the passcode and once you're done you are here from this menu you can turn the setting off as you can see it will ask for your face id provide that and once you've done this what you need to do is you need to go to again to find my apple account and from here you need to turn off this setting it will ask for an apple id so let me put that id over here well as you can see find my iphone is now turned off it also gives me a notification using email well now it is turned off now it is time to connect your device to the computer also on your computer you need to install latest itunes version so let's get to the computer also make sure to connect your lightning cable to that specific computer now let's get to the computer you need to go to apple.com slash itunes slash from here you will install the latest itunes and that will also be installed using your microsoft store so you need to install this one once you have installed the itunes this is how it will look like now it's time to install the ipsw file for your iphone now you need to go to the ipsw.p and this is how this page will look like now from this page what you need to do is you need to select iphone as you can see and from this list of iphones you need to select your iphone in my case i do have iphone 14 over here so i'm gonna i'm gonna get into this and after getting into this this is something how the ios versions are displayed over here as you can see these are some of the signed ios versions available ios 17.6.1 and the ios 17.6.1 re-released and from them i can get any version i want i cannot go to the older versions because they are unsigned by the apple so i need to download the signed version so for example i will go over here and from this here is the option download 7.95 gigs and by tapping on this the downloading will start as you can see and now it is um, downloading over here as you can see now once you have downloaded the older version now it's time to connect your iphone so i just connected my iphone and on the itunes there will be a new icon over here just like this one as you can see over here now tap on this and this these are some of the information related to my device also from backup now i can create a backup if i want to it is always better to create a new backup now on the restore iphone or check for update what you need to do is you need to hold 
shift button over here as you can see you need to hold shift button and if you are mac user you need to hold command button so if you're mac user you need to hold command button while if you are um, a window user you need to hold shift button and tap on the restore iphone by holding shift button and re tapping on the restore your iphone a new uh, browser will open that will ask you to select the ipsw file from here you need to select the file that you just downloaded and after that downgrading will begin during the process of downgrading it will restart couple of times so don't get panic and wait for your iphone to reboot once it's a uh, restore so if you have any question regarding this just let me know in the comment section below and this is a simple way through which you can downgrade your iphone to any other older version that is definitely signed by apple although i'm still on the ios 18 and i'm hoping ios 18 um, public release very soon and talking about the release date we are expecting to see the release of the uh, maybe rc version maybe on 9th of september at the apple event day although the official dates are not out yet and we're expecting so to see the public release of the ios 18 around the 16th of september this is what we are expecting although let's see what is going to happen if you ask me about the performance i have no issues with the performance of the ios 18 on this iphone 14 although i did um, uh, made a review video of the iphone 14 running ios 18 beta version that video is also available on my channel so you can go to my channel and check out that video see you in the next one